here have been queuing since around about uh, half past four or even earlier uh, this morning. In fact, I think the first person in the queue was here about uh, one in the morning. And that's that's because we've got a large portion of our seats and members areas are unreserved. So clearly it's, it's, it's first come, it's first served. It's been a tradition that's been going on for, for, for many years, uh, for a number of decades. Uh, members queuing here uh, out, outside the ground to make sure they get the very best uh, seats. And then when it comes to uh, gate opening time, there's really quite a rush and uh, a bit of a stampede as members come through, through the gates um, aiming for their favourite stand. The first time I saw it clearly was the first test I was involved in uh, last year between England and the West Indies here at Lords. And uh, yes, they, they, they come in and they, they want to make sure they get, they get their seat in their, in their favourite stand. And talking to the members this morning, you know, many have been sitting in certain places for many years. They like to have the flexibility of unreserved seats so that uh, that their friends can, can join them and uh, that's something that we're keen to uphold. Can you tell me your top tips for queuing? Top tips are to provide food, to provide a wisdom or play fair for a quiz. You always need a quiz. It's to be sociable, make new friends, have a chat. Um, newspapers are crucial and alcohol often helps. I know I'm going to have a good day, I always have a good day here and they're very fortunate to be able to be here that's all. and tomorrow and Saturday. I agree, it's a great day. The key though to forming the queue is where you join the queue. If you come up from St John's Station, you expect to turn the corner and find the queue up near the West Gate and you suddenly find it's the corner where we are now. That's the first disappointment of the day, but clearly it's going to get a lot better. And you come out here every morning during test matches and you chat to the members. What do they tell you about queuing and um, how do they keep their spirits up? What papers do they read? What type of things do they do? Because some of them queue, as you say, for about six or seven hours. Well, the, the first thing I'd like to say is that um, Keith Bradshaw, my predecessor, who did such a great job here, um, Keith was the one who, sort of st who started to, to change things outside the ground. He, he made sure there was a, a coffee urn and a tea urn for the, uh, for the early risers. And that, that's doing a roaring trade at the moment. Free coffee and tea for the members when they arrive. That's a nice thing for the club to, for the, for the, for the club to do. And, um, and, and Keith, Keith was a great one for coming up and down the queue uh, as I've The British tend to love a queue. Um, <laughs> you can stand on your own and be in a queue of one quite happily. And this is the best queue. The world's greatest queue, that's what it is. Yeah. We're in the world's Tagline. greatest queue. <laughs> is it, so it's second, you know, the Ashes is the best sporting event. Is this the, is this the best queuing event? Well, it's, it's, it's the pinnacle of queuing. <laughs> I feel I'm the sort of Mo Farah equivalent for Britain when it comes to queuing. Yeah, the best queue in the world by a million miles. Yeah. I hate queuing. I, honestly, my room 101 is queuing, except for this. This is it.